Can you imagine the situation in which Sahaba were when our beloved Prophet told them the story and at that time we did not have television or a tape recorder or all the gadgets that we have today. At that time for them to understand all of this would have been very, very difficult. It was very challenging kind of an information. Now we know that if I was listening to a certain tape or a certain movie or certain program on the television at home and the Juma time came, I would put that instrument on pause and come here, do my salah, spend whatever time I have, and then go back and press the pause button again and the story will start right from where I left. Now we can at least partially understand that this is possible for humans also. Can you imagine a time when if somebody was to tell you that a person will be talking in New York and without any wires or anything, I will be able to see him in Istanbul or in Karachi or in London at the same time. You would say that it's just not possible. Then a few years later, you would say not only that you will hear him, but you will actually see him as if he's right in front of you. He can be present in millions of television screens at the same time. Looked unbelievable at the time, but we know that it's possible now. Just imagine with the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how easy it has been for him to do whatever he pleases to do. When Ibrahim al Islam was getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after a few tests that he went through, he one day did mention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how will you revive the dead? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demonstrated for him. He said, take few birds, train them so they respond to your voice, they, you can call and they come to you. And then you slaughter them and you put their pieces, mix them up, four birds or three birds, mix them up and put on different hilltops and then come back to your place and call them. And they will be not only awakened, but they will come back to you as if nothing happened to them. When he saw all of that, then his faith was obviously very firm in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ability to be able to do that. So point number one that I'm trying to make is that under, understand or not, first thing we have to do is believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has that power, has that pudra, that it can do it and to do whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases. So it was he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself, subhanallah vi asra bi pure and glorified in he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who, who took his servant from, for all this journey.